For many, it is a permanent place to stay. Eight different families lost everything when a fire raged through this mobile home park last Sunday night. Today, we spoke with one couple who says that they are grateful for the many donations that they are receiving, but soon they may be forced to live out of their car. My neighbor's son come running out going, oh my God, there's a big fire. So that's when I ran to the back, grabbed the hose, told him, don't worry about it, I'll take care of this. Former hotshot firefighter Lori Connors says she climbed a ladder in her pajamas the night the fire was raging at a nearby mobile home, sparks raining down. But despite her best effort, she could not stop the fire from overtaking her home. And it just went like that. But I lost my lovebird inside. I lost 30 show pigeons. My memorabilia, everything of his family, my family, my growing up, my birth certificate, pictures of his mother he can't replace, her anniversary of her death is tomorrow. Doug Helvey and Lori were only able to grab their two dogs while escaping the fire. They spent this past week trying to replace medications and IDs lost to the flames. Lori went back the next day to sift through the ashes, making an incredible find. I stirred around a little black ash and I saw something shining up in the light. It was the first ring my father gave my mother and I found it. It was looking up from above from my father telling me better pick up that ring, young lady. Management at Alta Vista Mobile Home Park says the Lake Mead Christian Academy alone has donated $7,000 in gift cards. That includes $500 for the hotel room where the couple is now staying in Boulder City. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be in this room tonight. You know, because nobody generously would give me a voucher for $500 to go stay anywhere. So the church themselves are a godsend. I appreciate what they've done. I appreciate the whole community of Henderson. These are pictures of just some of the donations that neighbors have dropped off for the eight families who lost their homes and everything inside. The couple has been given Walmart gift cards to pay for clothes and food, but they did not have insurance on their home. Now at 62 years old, Lori says she finds herself truly homeless for the first time. I don't want to live in my car. I don't want to live in my, on couches. But what I'm worried about now is where I'm going to go from here because Saturday, Sunday, I might have to leave. And we have a link to the couple's GoFundMe set up on our website. That is fox5vegas.com. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. Reporting live tonight, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.